somebody went out there and told him, look, you're landing with the uppercut. Keep using that uppercut. It'll work every time you hit him on the point of the chin. Why not? And your point, again, very well taken. That Arango is just leaning in. He's there for the uppercut. Ask him for it. Yes, he is. And nice job, too, by Asim by coming back with a hook after the uppercut. That has turned the tide in this fight. Arango is not nearly as busy in this round either. Doesn't look as strong as he did earlier in this fight either. Very interesting. <laughs> it is the sport of boxing. Boy, look at the muscles in Arango's back. Holy moly. Look at that. Nice to see your back. There is a little strength. That's where his power comes from. See, he's laying in there a lot. He's not punching. Well, I tell you, you see a different complexion in the fight here than you saw. Or remember back in that third and fourth round? The left uppercut again. Oh, wow. the run on. I think I've got his attention. And a good right hand. And that hurt Arango. Oh, yeah. Well, this is a fight, guys. Oh, yeah. Whoops. Oh, right hand dropped him. How quickly things change. And he is on wobbly pins. Wow, that's it. They stopped that's it just all. like that with only four wow. seconds to go in the round, I might point out. Wow. Isn't that interesting? I thought Easton was in the midst of his best round. What a turn of events. That is how exciting this championship.